All right, in this video, I'm going to be doing a review of US Mobile, a new cell phone carrier with plans catered to the individual. This video will be broken up into three major parts. In the first part, I'm going to be explaining how US Mobile can provide such inexpensive plans. In the second part, I'm going to be describing my experience with US Mobile as a carrier. And in the third part, I'm going to be discussing how you can test out US Mobile for yourself and how to get set up on their network. Feel free to click the links, which will be to my right, to jump to any certain part of the video. All right, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Part one. How can U.S. Mobile provide such affordable plans? So U.S. Mobile was actually founded by a group of people at GSM Nation. They felt Americans were paying too much for their cell phone plans, probably because they were also Americans, and they too were paying too much on their cell phone bills. So this group of people at GSM Nation got together and U.S. Mobile was formed. U.S. Mobile is able to provide its low-cost service by running off another carrier's already established network. So let's say it's T-Mobile's network. What's happening is T-Mobile has some extra bandwidth on their network, and in order to make more money, they're selling the extra bandwidth at a low cost. US Mobile is able to transfer this low cost onto its consumers, which is how it can provide such excellent plans at such an affordable price. Now, while I'm sure US Mobile is not actually allowed to say which carrier they're using to provide their coverage, I'm fairly certain it's T-Mobile, and here's why. First off, in my testing, I received about the same service on US Mobile as I did on T-Mobile. Second off, their coverage maps look suspiciously similar. And third off, when I was running a speed test on US Mobile, it said it was hosted by T-Mobile. So I personally suspect US Mobile is running off of the T-Mobile network. Now what does this mean for you? This means if you get good T-Mobile service in your area, you should definitely consider US Mobile as a carrier. So now that you know US Mobile can be affordable without any kind of shenanigans going on, this is what my experience was like on their network. So first off, I was able to test their network on my unlocked iPhone 5. It was super easy to order up a nano SIM card compatible with my iPhone 5, go online, activate the SIM card, choose the plan I wanted, and then pop the SIM card into my iPhone. It was also super easy to add additional minutes, text messages, or data to my plan before the month had expired. I personally thought call quality was right on par, message quality, if that's even a thing, was up there, and the data speeds were fast enough for email fetching, web browsing, and social media-ing. If that's, that's, a, that's a thing, yes, social media-ing. I personally found that using LTE provided the best online experience, while using 3G was acceptable and reasonably fast. However, anything below 3G like Edge or GPRS, I found to be too slow and unusable. So if you're going to go with US Mobile, make sure you're in an area that at least gets 3G speeds. So overall, I would say I'm thoroughly impressed with US Mobile. It was super easy to order up a SIM card and get activated on their network. Their online experience was top notch. Their customer support was awesome and their plans are incredibly affordable. So if you are interested in testing US Mobile out as a carrier or switching to them as your full-time provider, then this is what you need to do. First off, you need to make sure you have an unlocked GSM phone. What does this mean? This means an either out of contract AT&T phone, an out of contract T-Mobile phone, or any phone you've purchased at full price that runs on the GSM network. Doing a quick Google search will land you with a bunch of results of phones that are compatible with the US Mobile network. Next, you'll have to order a compatible SIM card from US Mobile themselves. The SIM cards run about $4 and the shipping is fast and free as mine came in just three days. To find out what kind of SIM card is compatible with your phone, you can easily hit up Google or contact US Mobile customer support. Once you have your SIM card, you can go to gousmobile.com activate, which I will have linked in this video description. So there you can activate your SIM card, choose to keep your old number or get a new number, and you can choose a completely custom plan. Once you have activated your SIM card, simply pop it into your phone and you're good to go. Except there's one more thing. You may need to activate your APN settings in order to get things like MMS messaging, which includes group messaging and picture messaging, and your personal hotspot working properly. This is a very simple process, and US Mobile actually has an article on their support website, which I will have linked in this video description, that will tell you exactly how to set up your APN settings to get all the features working properly. I will also have a video of my own on how to set up your APN settings for an iPhone, 
linked in this video description, or there will be a clickable link at the end of this video. All right, so that wraps up this video. Hopefully it provided you with some helpful information about US Mobile. Definitely be sure to check them out if you're looking for very affordable plans for individuals. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.